morning welcome back to a new video today is going to be a foodie vlog i really miss those even though i feel every vlog is a foodie vlog because that's what i love to do Ooh, oh my god it's really bright here i was gonna do like a daily vlog but the day kind of started already a little differently <clears throat> oh, i need water what's happening <laughs> my body's falling out <laughs> By the way, I'm going to link this water bottle down below because I had so many questions about it. It is glass. It's super efficient. Like, I actually drink a lot of water. Anyway, what I was trying to say, I was supposed to go for a workout to Paris Bootcamp this morning with my girlfriends. But I don't know what happened. I think Max and I like were snuggling in the same position all night. And I think I just like hurt something in my shoulder and I literally can't move it. It's like... When I like turn my neck, it's just so stiff and so painful. I merely planned a private session with my trainer Glenn and his business is actually called Reset You. I will link his profile down below as well. He does everything through Zoom. He can completely reset my body from distance with like stretch exercises and movements and it's just really incredible. I don't know, I haven't like had pain like this in a long time. Anyway, I do always love to get a little bit some type of movement in and i also want to get some fresh air because i feel i've been spending a lot of time in the apartment so yeah i thought to just go for a little walk move my booty booty also move my booty Alyssa is coming by later and we are going to share baked oats with vegan matcha chocolate recipe we're actually using the nekohama matcha chocolate which sold out within three weeks it's finally back but it's just such an unbelievable good recipe. So yeah. Alrighty, let's go for a little walk. I also got this acne sweater new. It is so cozy and warm. I've literally been living in this. Okay, let's go. sun have a moon for myself also very rare i ordered actually a cappuccino i kind of made it uh really hard for myself because i can't really drink much in cafes anymore i just think it tastes so so bad so instead once in a while i do have like a little coffee didn't tell you guys yet but today i'm also packing for a trip to new york which i'm very excited about it is new york fashion week i'm not doing like walking a lot of the shows because i'm not doing like all the fashion weeks in all the cities but there will be a lot of like events going on one day i have a shoot so that's why i'm going there will just be a lot of people in town which will be really fun the only downside uh, a New York Fashion Week in February is that it's so freezing cold. The thought of like packing for that, I'm like, oh my god, you just need to put on so many layers and stuff. But I'm happy to go back because I always just 
still really love New York, even though I love LA. Anyway, for my trip, I actually got some like snacks because I really feel like, you know, when you're traveling and stuff on the airports, there's never like good food. And I always get bored when I travel. Yeah, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite. I absolutely love the brand Tree Kitchen. I got some grain-free crackers and they just launched these snacking dark chocolate jams and these were sea salt, really love. It's so funny, there's always chocolate in my travel bag, wherever I go. Recently, I've been loving these Paleo Puffs. They're kind of uh, Cheetos, but like a healthy version made with cassava flour. So a nice little snack. My flight is tomorrow at like 6 a.m., which will be really early. So I got myself mush which is like overnight oats. I feel I can get away with it with security. Sometimes when overnight oats are very watery, when I make them myself or whatever, they like take it out because they see it as a liquid. I also got some, I have no idea what it is, some date balls type of thing. And then obviously I buy some nuts on the way. So yeah. I am going to get some work done. I'm also going to take a quick shower, get ready, and then Alyssa will be here and we're gonna make a fun recipe. All right guys, I'm today with a very special guest. Hi, Alyssa's here. So we actually just filmed a video for Alyssa's channel, chocolate chip cookies, which are really bomb. I feel they're still like, I can still taste them. I can still taste them. So another recipe what we wanted to make was baked oats, which is really delicious as like a breakfast or even like a snack or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, oh goodness, you will need so a little, excited. what is this called? Ramekin? Ram Ramekin? Ramekin. Yeah. Yeah, to make the oats in, we will make a portion for two people. I will link the recipe also down below for one and for two people. Yeah, this looks so easy. I feel like if you just want something like warm and comforting. I think that's the right great. word. It's like a very comforting, like mm -hmm. breakfasty kind of thing. We're gonna start with blending the kind of like the wet ingredients. So two ripe bananas and two eggs. I got a shell. I got a shell. You're good. Extra. <laughs> Let's blend this first. I'm gonna take the big pieces out and then we're just gonna put the small ones in here. Put this in the middle. There we go. It's literally less than 10 minutes and like even if you can't cook, like you will not mess this up. Alrighty, let's put them on here and bake them for 25 minutes on 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, this looks really good. This is better than the first time I made them. Oh I don't gosh, know what happened it, here, The but... way it broke, the way the matcha chocolate is just like exploding. This is an oat souffle today. Ah, oh. dig it in. Oh, oh. here we go. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Oh my gosh. That's my whole mouth cream. <laughs> oh, that's great. We literally put a tablespoon of maple syrup in here mm -hmm. and it literally tastes like a dessert. Once you make this, you will like never go back to like making normal oats because this stuff is so insane. Like never. <laughs> I'm just gonna be eating here. <laughs> we'll be here. Yum. Okay, it is 4.30 and I have literally been waiting all day for my packages to arrive. I am packing for my trip to New York. It's going to be New York Fashion Week, a ton of like meetings, there's some like events and just things happening. For each type of occasion, I need to have certain looks. I've had fashion weeks where I just had 
help from like a stylist but now i didn't do that because it was kind of more of a spontaneous decision to actually go i did a really big order from neta porte and also from revolve spoiled myself a little bit because i have been really wanting to buy a new bag from Bottega and I was in doubt for so long a couple days ago I was like okay I'm just going to make the decision I've worked a lot saved some money and I haven't really been buying any like expensive clothing all my old designer pieces I don't really fit anymore because when I got all my designer pieces I was like 18 years old so anyway I'm gonna show you what we got here oh my god there's so many boxes welcome to my life so it's basically this big one and then I think this is the big not the porte one. Oh my god, it's also very heavy. So yeah. I'm gonna start with the Netta Porte one. So I got a bunch of stuff and obviously the first thing I'm grabbing is this one because this is what I've been waiting for and what I was so in doubt and I hope it's as beautiful as it was in real. Okay, so let's unbox it. I feel you guys can guess already what it is. It's a little dumpling bag. I really love this. I feel it's just like so convenient just to kind of like bring as like a day bag or even, you know, as like an evening bag. It's just like so chic. ASMR. It's just so extremely soft and it's so like never goes out of style. Really love it. My bank account doesn't. I'm investing in myself. <laughs> I also wanted to order some like shirts, but I'm not so sure about the material. I need to try it on. Um, this is just like a sweater. No idea if I actually need this in my life. The Revolve bag is actually going to be a little more exciting with some looks more like evening looks so let's see dark so early at like 5 30 i'm like done for the day anyway i kind of want to do a little get unready with me right now and show you kind of um what i do so yeah i'm wearing a little bit of makeup right now a product i absolutely love to take off my makeup with is this pharmacy cleansing balm at the moment i'm not wearing a lot of makeup but when I wear more makeup, it still gets everything off. This is so gentle on your skin. Just like easily takes even eye makeup off, like mascara, all of it. I would highly recommend this. So I'm just very gently removing my makeup here. Doing my eyes. See, it comes off super easy. It's always the best part of the day. Taking off your bra taking off makeup being productive but still chilled there we go and then i use this i don't know if you can see it in the light it is a fabric cloth so i can just like wash this so instead of buying a pack with plastic and just like throwing away it's a little bit more of a sustainable option so i'm just wiping off super gently my makeup Alrighty, I'm going to take a shower and wash my face and then we're gonna do a little bit more skincare. So, I don't wanna wash my hair again today. Sometimes I do, I often take also a bath on Sunday, I really love that. Let me put my band in. Okay, so I use about like once a week kind of like a facial scrub. But 
A product I also really have been enjoying is the Sonia Dakar Omega Polish. It's a two-in-one powder, polish, and a mask. So basically, if you leave it on a little longer, it becomes more of a mask. Um, if you do kind of like shorter, it's a really gentle scrub and it just feels kind of it takes off like the dead skin cells. And it really helps when you have like clogged pores on the nose and kind of when you have like impurities. This is really nice. So as you can see, it has like a powder. Let's see what it's saying. Multitasking exfoliator. Formulated with pore refining green lentils. Green tea. Not yet, no. Aloe vera voluminous brighter skin. I don't know. I honestly always feel I have brighter skin after this. So what you do, you add a little bit of powder. Then I have the activator. You can use any type of liquid, but obviously this one is helps really well with the polisher. So I'm going to add a couple of pumps, gently mix it, and then move it over my skin. It's not as like rough as like a scrub. It's a really gentle exfoliator. I'm gonna make my skin feel reborn. Yeah, and if you just leave this on a little longer, it's like a mask, but. That's not what I'm going to do today. I use it as like an exfoliator. I'm especially using it on my nose because sometimes I have like a little club pores there. There we go. Get rid of most of it. I don't know, I always feel my skin looks more like <laughs> pale. <laughs> and clean almost like my little tan layer came off even though that's not not the truth then i like to put a little face mask on my all-time favorite one is the face mask from dr barbara storm i know in my like latest skincare video <laughs> there were a lot of like angry comments of like oh you're all sponsored by her like no i was not sponsored i like truly love love her products you know they're on the pricey side but they work for my skin really well and i do also use different types of products but this face mask in particular really helps hydrate my skin because obviously i have a very like dry skin i just notice a lot of mask i don't know i even get like more redness afterwards or they just kind of dehydrate my skin so it's coming with like a thick cream that i'm putting on and then you let it sit for like 15 minutes there we go. Ring. I also got a new lip balm, which I really love. One of my favorite like makeup brands is the brand Ilya. They all have like clean, vegan, cruelty-free makeup. And this is the Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. And I really, really love it. A lot of lip balms actually dry out my lips even more. And this one has a really beautiful shimmer as well, so. Pumped lips. I'm pumped. 